time of year, we are often blanketed in white with gray cloudy skies. Mike Stevens has an answer to our colorless plight in tonight's visit to the PhotoLink Library. It wasn't long ago that we were basking in the sun's glow, going about life in a casual manner. One example comes from Kathy Hartman, Benton. But it wasn't long before all that changed. You might say it went away like the setting sun captured by John Shigo from McAdoo. It happened so quickly that some of us never got to finish a meal. Lori Dibler, Toby Hanna showed an example. The snow that rambled in just stunned everybody. Why, friends couldn't seem to move, as we see here, thanks to Kathy Keeler, Lake Ariel. They just stared at each other. But as you know, life moves on, flying here and there. Steve from Higgins caught this colorful passerby. Another comes from Cynthia Rott, Katowice. Strike a Pose is the title. You can find them all over if you look, as Nancy to Catch in Shavertown did. It's nice to get some company in winter, isn't it? After a while, it gets to be something of a parade. David Musser found a blue jay in Sealands Grove, a cedar waxwing caught by Rachel Lucarino, Harvey's Lake, a backyard beauty here from Tammy Airgood, Sailorsburg. Not snow, nor rain, nor ice will stop them, as Carol Elliott in Mount Cobb points out. Gloom of night may call a halt, though. And if one tires of some feathered friends, nature will oblige and change things up. This from Pam Foley, Port Carbon. Darkness falls, as usual. Most of the critters about hit the hay. Ed Pollock and Tuscarora stayed out, though, and caught a streetlight reflection that brightened up the night. Another day comes along, and with it, perhaps some sun. Maybe opportunities to see some new members of the ground crew, as Tony Glossick did in Albrightsville. Like any other time of the year, winter has a surprise or two. Mike Stevens here in the PhotoLink Library.